Hey everybody, Blit Method here. A new week for Battle Pets is upon us here in the world of Warcraft for the week of May 15th, 2024. In this video series, I go over all the news in World of Warcraft as it relates to Battle Pets. This week, we'll go over Pandaria Remix, a thankful goodbye to a community member, a possible bug with a pet's model, as well as other events going on this week. Some alpha testing news for the War Within, and then we'll wrap up with uh, info on the Pet Battle PvP tournament we host, and a reminder for May's Transmog of the Month contest. This week's events. I won't be able to put out a news video next week due to being on holiday. Um, I'll try to mention everything that's happening the past week and coming up through May 21st. Wrath of the Lich King Time Walking starts on May 14th, which also includes the Trading Post activity, defeating Northrend Pet Tamers. Simply defeat any three of the Tamers listed in the Traveler's Log to complete the achievement and get that sweet Trader's Tender. But me, I just do them for fun. It's like visiting old friends. And the pet Strand Crawler is also easier to obtain from buying the bag of fishing treasures from the Time Walking Vendor. Also starting on May 14th is Pet Battle Bonus Week. This means that all pets received get double experience for any fight they win. We'll also see the return of Pet Battle PvP quest given to you by the Fountain in Veldraken to win 5 matches. This rewards you with a training stone that levels your pets up to 25. Whether you're pushing for the Family Brawler achievement or just enjoy PvP matches, it's a great way to test out the queue. On May 21st, it'll also be Super Squirt Day in the EU. Pandaria Remix will launch on May 16th, which has two new pets which come from playing the mode and clearing some achievements from specific zones. We'll know more about them after the content goes live, but it seems to be pretty easy to complete so far. We don't know yet if there will be any pet news with the Remix. Um, in some of the teaser trailers, they mention you can buy pets with Remix-exclusive currency bronze. We'll see if that's like a typo or not. Uh, I hope there could be more pets than two no of the known pets in Pandaria Remix, uh, as Pandaria was the expansion which launched the pet battle system. The Eye of the Legion Twitch drop is available from May 16th to May 30th. All you have to do is just watch four hours of WoW content on Twitch to receive the pet. So just head over to anybody that's streaming WoW and has drops enabled to receive this incredibly rare pet. Community Corner. I'd like to honor and celebrate Zufu's Pet Strategies website on their nine year anniversary. If you're looking how to beat a certain fight and expand your battle prowess, or you need guides on just about anything that comes to pets, Zufu's is the one, if not the first place I check. Congratulations to everyone over there on nine years of hard work. I know I for one, and I think everyone is very thankful for everything you guys do. In a little bit of sad news, a longtime community member and someone who has given a lot to pets in WoW over the years is signing off. They've provided invaluable content over the years, helpful feedback, and immeasurable help to all collectors everywhere. When I started the game, I looked forward to her daily pet battle reports to expand my collection and connect with the larger community. Thank you for everything you did for the pet battle community Dragons After Dark, and I hope you find so many more fun games out in the world. In the Cozy Games community, Battle Pets and World of Warcraft have been making a big splash. If you're not familiar with Cozy Games, they're often games like Animal Crossing or The Sims, a game where the player can relax in a stress-free environment doing collecting or gathering tasks. Uh, collecting and training Battle Pets is certainly fits into that category, I think, and many members of the Cozy Game genre have their opinions on WoW as a Cozy Game, as seen in Raven Knight's video on WoW. Here. I recently got into doing that. Um, I've only tried it out a little bit before, but I've started focusing on it a little bit more, and it's really fun to being able to collect new types of pets and stuff, and they're all so freaking cute, so, you know, it's really nice. PTR News. The War Within Alpha has been releasing one zone per week. Lots of us pet enthusiasts have been reporting bugs they find and documenting all they find. The most notable change this week we saw on Alpha is that the Warband Bank can now store polished pet charms, as this was not the case in previous weeks. We also saw the return of a pet that has been with us for a very long time, Dog, who we last saw in Legion Dalaran. We left him there at the pet hub in Dalaran to be taken care of, and the first time we were introduced to this pet was way back in Pandaria. In The War Within, it seems he'll be joining us as a non-combat pet, because he's a lover, not a fighter. Welcome home, dog. New pets this week. 
New pets we'll see in the game with Pandaria Remix are Muspaw Calf coming from doing the achievement Pandaria Remix Townlong Steeps. A little disclaimer here though, I'm making this video before the launch of Pandaria, so these pets' moves and stats could be subject to change. Muspaw Calf has a whopping 1522 health, which is pretty good for a beast pet, 301 power, and 244 speed, which means he can hit hard, if he ever has a chance to. With his slot 1 move being either Trample or Horn Gore, I would probably pick Trample in most cases. It can generally do more damage unless you're facing an opponent that has a lower base health pool stat. Slot 2 has you choosing between Cute Face or Chew. Cute Face giving you a chance to dodge is nice, but at 25% it's a bit of a coin flip. Chew, however, will always do damage even if you switch Muspaw Calf to the backline. Then slot 3 has us choosing between New Zowls, Charge, or Bash. It's unfortunate this pet has you choosing between CC or Power Move, so this is a little situational which is better. Sometimes you might need more one than other, depending on your situation. In PvE, I'd probably choose Trample, Chew, and Nizowl's Charge. In PvP, I might go for Horn Gore, Chew, and Bash, because PvP tends to see more needing of CC moves. The second pet coming from Pandaria Remix is Astral Emperor's Serpent Link. This pet will come from the achievement Pandaria Remix Timeless Isle. A little low on the health with 1481, a decent power stat at 309, and a below average speed of 244 leave the stats on this pet feeling somewhere a little below average. Slot 1, being Tail Sweep or Breath, would probably having me take Tail Sweep due to that move doing more damage if the Serpentling goes second. Though Serpentling having higher speed sometimes than your opponent, Breath might be the better choice. Slot 2 brings us a difficult choice between two great moves, Celestial Blessing or Thunderbolt. They both do great things, so it's hard to say if one's better than the other. Celestial Blessing gives 50% damage reduction buff to the next pet that you swap into battle, and Thunderbolt is an AoE move that averages the damage. Uh, to put that move simply, if the opponent has three pets out, it will do one damage to each pet. If they have one pet out, it will do three damage to that single pet that they have out. Hard choice between those two moves. Hmm. Uh, then our slot three choices between Starfall or Deliberate Retreat. Both are healing abilities that heal your team for a little. Retreat switches the Surpling with your highest health pet afterwards, whereas Starfall is a weather ability causing moonlight. So Starfall heals for a bit less, but ends up doing more in the end. And Retreat does allow for a free swap, though. In PvE, I'd probably go for Breath, Thunderbolt, and Deliberate Retreat, maybe? For PvP, I'd probably team the Serpentling up with at least one Magic-type pet to take advantage of Moonlight. For the moves, I'd choose Tail Sweep, Celestial Blessing, and Starfall. Bug fixes and changes. I would not consider this a fix, but it's definitely a change. On live servers with the launch of 10.2.7, the pet Jennifer received a color swap. While it doesn't look like a new model, more so just the change of the cat's breed, we received no explanation on this. So my going theory is that a bug, and it's not intended, as she now doesn't match her icon. I've also been noticing a lot of new cat models in the war within Alpha, so it's possible a wire got crossed somewhere in the code. Maybe. Right now though, it's reminding me a little bit of the children's book, The Tiger Who Lost Her Stripes by Michelle Blass. A little bit of backstory on Jennifer, though. She was part of the Make-A-Wish campaign. Amara wished to make a song for a major video game, so she worked with Blizzard to write the song Amara's Wish. This song is the key to unlocking a rather complicated puzzle that the Secret Finders spent years unlocking. In the end, this rewards the player with hearing the song, Amara's Wish, and receiving the battle pet, Jennifer, who resembles and was named after Amara's own cat, Jenny. Hopefully, we'll see her stripes return and Jennifer can return back to being the kitty that we all know and love. Confirmed next few weeks. On the horizon, we'll see May 28th through June 4th being PvP Brawl Comp Stomp, the best way for us battle pet enthusiasts to grind honor towards the pets rewarded at various honor levels. Comp Stomp is pretty simple matches against braindead AI opponents, and it's easy wins. Five minute games as well, very casual content. I usually go for a few honor levels each time this event rolls around, 
They do not seem to be overloading us too much before then though, as I think everyone's probably going to be checking out Pandaria Remix. Pet Battle PvP Tournament Update Myself and some very talented and intelligent people are working on running and hosting a Pet Battle PvP tournament. We have our own Discord, rules, seasons, and exclusive prizes. See the Discord link in the description of this video to join and catch all the news directly there. We have settled on enamel pins as participation prizes, though we do not have art yet. If you know someone who has a great art style that can match well on an animal pin for battle pets, let me know in the comments, or in a private message on Discord. Last time I showed off what the first place may look like as an artist's rendering. This week, the model builder has shared with us the very first few prototypes for that trophy. Uh, these are like 3D models that are going to be printed, then polished, then painted, and all worked into the first place trophy. These are work in progress and not the final product. I'm very excited about who might land a cool first place trophy like this. Hop on over to our Discord to learn more. We'll do each Battle Pet PvP season corresponding to the seasons of World of Warcraft's other modes, and all of this aims to launch with War Within Season 1. Transmog the Month Contest for May 2024. Here we focus on transmogs that complement your battle and companion pets. If you want to enter, simply go to the Discord shared in the comments and post your screenshot or video of you and your pet. Please include a list of items included in your transmog. The prize will be $20 Battle.net balance sent to you from me. All submissions will be in the same Discord as our Pet Battle PvP Tournament Discord. Please do not use Narcissus Mirror or Magic Pet Mirror toys. The theme for Transmog of the Month for May 2024 is Pandaria. With the launch of Myths of Pandaria Remix, what better time to show the perfect Pandaria Transmog, and likewise a pet that comes from or refers to Pandaria in some way. The pet you choose much matches the theme, and your Transmog much match your pet. Entries can be sent in until May 31st. Again, submissions can be shared in the Discord I have linked in the comment section below. That wraps up the Battle Pet news for this week in the world of Warcraft. Is there any Battle Pet news or community postings I missed this week? Please feel free to let me know in the comment section below. Well, until next time, much love. Peace.